This is my Tate conservation studio, relocated to Beirut. Shuker has become very well known in recent years in her own country. She isn't widely collected. A huge proportion of this very prolific artist's work is stored in her own apartment. I think in total, 160 objects are flying to the United Kingdom for the Tate Show. I'm not nervous of, about the packing because they are really taking good care of everything and it's just to get to get there. So I'm just hoping they will arrive safely and come back. It will be a very nice moment for me to walk in a museum and go and see my mother work hang on a wall. I mean, exposed in, in, in the right place, not at home, you know, only. I've been seeing them, living with them all my life. There is a real resonance of Shikare within the apartment, even though she is profoundly affected by the Alzheimer's disease that she suffers from. She's omnipresent spiritually. I feel she's everywhere. I mean, my mother is here and she's aging gracefully, peacefully, and losing her vocabulary so she cannot speak. I'm here instead telling you things about her. I wish she is. It would have been wonderful, her energy, just to see her energy. I mean, growing up with her was fun because she was playing all the time. But everybody respected her passion in her family. I mean, that she was extremely passionate about it. People took her seriously because she really believed in what she wanted to do. Shuker had been in Paris in the 1940s and had, had been working in Fernand Leger's studio and I think there along with her training she had absorbed the classical painting technique. Her sculpture is a completely different kettle of fish. I'm sure something happened in her mind in Paris. It put her on a track but she felt that she always had this track in her. My mother didn't waver a lot you know she went in a really very straight line. Her soul was completely into forms and shapes. She's incredibly inventive with the materials that she's used. Different kinds of marble, polished wood, both fired clay, unfired clay, glazed clay, fiberglass. <laughs> Beirut is very important to her. This is where she was born. She's a real Beiruti and she loved her city. She didn't live the conflict of Lebanon with the depression. I mean, she was depressed, definitely. Everybody was depressed in Lebanon at that time. But there was always a new things happening in science and oh my God, this is so interesting. So she was always motivated. She wasn't sick of modern time. She wasn't nostalgic. She believed in the future. She believes in science and in exploring space, in exploring the, the DNA, in exploring all this. The 
حتى موديلات السيارات إلى تأثير موديلات السيارات موديلات اللي بتجينا كل سنة يعني هيدي ما إلها تأثير ومرات النقاد يعني في واحد من الناقدين بيقول إنه أنا هذا تأثير أوروبي لا هذا تأثير عالمي يعني اللي عم بشوفه أنا عم بشوفه كل واحد في العالم <تصفيق> I would say internationally, her work is very, uh, very little understood, very under-recognized, which of course is the importance of having the exhibition at Tate. In the last decade, let's say, or even two decades, her work has been increasingly acknowledged, particularly in Beirut. One would say that generally throughout her life, up until that point, she was uh, really overlooked. Um, in some cases perhaps purposefully so. She was a woman, of course. She's also Druze, and Beirut is a very complex, as we know, in terms of the different uh, factions and frictions. And of course also the, the fact of civil war. So it was impossible for any artist to have an international career, let alone a, a local career. قواعد كل قواعد اللي اخذتها انا كلها نابعه من من الدين الاسلامي من النسب الاسلاميه درت بشوارع القاهره والجوامع كلها ولقيت لقيت نظرتي اللي بدي اياها يمكن هذيك الايام بس ما كانت ابدا وارده عند حدا إنه أرجع استعمل الهندسيات ما كانت واردة عند مخلوق ولا كانت واردة عندي يعني بس أنا كتير هيك انبسطت فيها So that there's one painting in the exhibition that gives you some sense of the circumstances in which Shukar was working which of course were extreme the painting that we've included was affected by a bomb that um, exploded very near to her apartment. Um, glass shattered the painting, it's, it's partially destroyed. But I felt it was very important to include in the exhibition in order to understand that here is an artist producing this type of work completely surrounded by a very different set of circumstances. And yet her work is remaining um, completely uh, true to itself, let's say, and true to her, her own interests and, and, and fascinations. She's an extremely rational artist. It was not in her um, artistic language to bring in subjects such as the Civil War or about perhaps raising a child or being a wife or a mother or indeed any of the other sort of personal stories. These were irrelevant to her art making. I'm still discovering and I've been looking into those pieces forever and I still see new things in them. I know she's happy and I know that she's happy that we are enjoying it.